This week, we celebrate it as a Jewish community, Simcha's Torah. This is a, such a fun holiday when we complete the reading of the first five books of the Torah, ending in Deuteronomy, and we start all over again with Genesis. But I want to share a story just about this Torah in general that will hopefully inspire you to want to learn a little bit more about how cool and fun it really can be. So this, it goes something like this. So there were four different merchants on a ship. One was traveling with beautiful silk bolts of fabric and scarves and all of this wonderful silk merchandise. The second was traveling with beautifully fine sculpted and carved glass vases. And the third was traveling with gold and silver jewelry with some even fine stones inside of it. And initially they were all arguing back and forth of who was going to make the most money when they arrived at the port. Finally, they came to the conclusion that it was going to be fine. They were all going to make some money. And they looked over in the corner and there was the fourth merchant who was just sitting there quietly, just quiet. And he said he had a little scroll with him and the scroll was the Torah. And it was tucked in a little bag with the Star of David on his hip. As they were all going back and forth and discussing even further what was going to happen, a pirate ship came alongside of their ship, boarded and stole merchandise. Stole the silk, stole the glass vase, and stole the jewelry. When he saw the Sefer Torah, the pirate threw it back at the man and said, this is not worth anything at all. The merchants wept and they felt that they were going to lose everything because all of their money was tied up in all of their merchandise. When they arrived at the port, the scholar went walking through the city and found a house of study. And he went into the house of study and he saw students there who were asking and discussing very convoluted topics. And they asked him a question and he answered. And they asked him another one and he answered. And so went back and forth for about an hour. And they finally realized that this guy knew a lot, a lot, a lot. And they asked him to stay and teach. And they invited him a meal. As the day went on, the merchants who were walking by found him, were making such a commotion, waving at him through the window. He invited them in, and he invited them to share a meal with him. And they sat there and they realized that life is more than just selling items. Life is more than just trying to make the most, bang for your buck. Sometimes life is about the small little things. It's about knowledge. It's about being present. It's about being good. It's about sharing. So as we read the Torah this year, may we remember that and hold that lesson near and dear to our hearts.